Very quick video since a new internal build guys has been released. This time that's the BYG9 and the most interesting, actually two things, right? First things first, the Android security patch level now is from the 1st of August. And second guys, right, second, yeah. We now have the adaptive clock back and that's cool. And this means it's potentially all the functions that we had, but then last are now back. And we can confirm this very easily by just going here in the now bar and checking that, yeah. Evening is here. Evening is here. Now bar apparently can speak right now. So honestly guys, Samsung are definitely cooking very soon, hopefully either the official beta four or who knows, probably we even get the stable One UI 8. One UI 8 stable is anywhere out there for the Galaxy Z Fold and the Z Flip. So matter things I would like to check is the certification. So right now it seems that I'm certified. You can see Play Protect Certification. Uh, but what I want to do is just go here for stop it. And I just want to delete the clash and the data for this up. And I'm going to restart Play Store. I just want to see if what's going to happen. Let's scroll down here. And okay, it's it said that I'm still certified, guys. Now, if this build is not certified, it might work for some hours and days. And then the moment you launch, <laughs> Google wallet or something else boom you know yeah you're gonna get a message sorry man you are not able to use this for now this is a must for me since i'm using google wallet also on my samsung watch ultra and i really don't want to lose my certification very quickly something else that i wanted to check people are reporting that the issues with the dpi are now resolved which means that after some of the internal better updates or the internal test updates you know like everything was so small small here so you had to go and resize stuff like this if i go now to security and privacy I want to see, so security update for sure is from the 1st of August, we're already living in the future, uh, but somehow the Google Play system update, we're kind of stuck on this, I guess, and there is no way for us to update this as of now. Else, guys, you know my stance on the animations. One UI 8 is probably going to be one of the best One UI uh, releases. In the recent years, maybe One UI 6 was a nice one, but uh, One UI 7, you know, all the drama and all the delays and stuff like this. So in terms of animations, everything's absolutely very smooth, guys. Uh, all kind of things that you can do with the foam. And even like this, <laughs> I always test this. Yeah, okay, guys, you know, like if you want to have a smooth animation key of Fluid one, you just do it like this. But I just restarted my phone right now. Uh, I don't really think this is going to be uh, like a bug or something like that. Honestly, it works quite nice. And you can see, right, all the animations are really fluid and they're not a lot of stutters. Also, very important, if you didn't watch my previous video, the home app now was updated to support one year eight and with that we do have also some nice tips and tricks um in regards to changing some things that were never there before i'm not going to show a lot of this right now because i covered this in some of the previous videos but when you go to gesture settings we now have an app opening animation tuning that not only looks cool but yeah you can change the speed of the app opening animation and also apply blur on icons and on wallpaper but for the sake of my test right now i'm trying to not use the home app at all so again short video and i really hope that very soon we're gonna get the stable one year eight on the s25 ultra and then of course the s22 and s24 and s23 and all the other phones and the a series as well let's hope that samsung will do it right this time thank you so much for watching guys vst over stay safe bye